Knowing Spurs, they will go through tonight. I think they will. You know, only 1-0 down, home advantage. I think Harry Kane will turn up tonight. He knows that he wants to be playing these big games. You know, Son as well. I feel like Spurs will turn up tonight. But I just look at Spurs as a club at the moment, Laura. And I, I had a rant on Saturday and I, I felt like everything I said was right. You know, Spurs fans don't want to win a trophy. You rest your best player against Sheffield mm. United. It just doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah. And you see the Beyonce concerts that are sold out. I think there's four or five of them. You see the boxing fights there. And you're like, yes, good revenue for the club. But Spurs fans couldn't care less about that. They want to see trophies. They want to see Harry Kane sign a new deal because Spurs are going in the right direction. Spurs, for me, won't finish in the top four. Liverpool now will go on a run for me. They'll take confidence from the weekend. And they'll miss out on top four. Not going to win the Champions League. Harry Kane's got to leave in the summer. And if he doesn't and he signs a new deal, you've got to question Harry Kane. If I'm, if I'm him, I'm going to Manchester United. I get to break Alan Shearer's record by staying in the Premier League. He has to go. That's what um, Ali was saying yesterday, actually, and the day before. And um, Spurs fans listening obviously hate this conversation because it, it comes around so often. <laughs> give, give us if two they're minutes still, If they're still listening from, from Beyonce <clears throat> onwards, yeah. um, if they're still listening, that they, they hate this talk about Harry Kane, but at some point it becomes more realistic. He wanted to force a move out to go to Manchester City. Mm -hmm. He didn't manage to. 18 months left on his contract. Is it the smart thing to do for... Tottenham to get some money for him because otherwise if he runs down his contract you can't let him go on a free no chance absolutely no chance and the one man that won't allow that to happen would be Daniel Levy I mean one thing Daniel Levy is a very 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 astute businessman there can be no argument about that so it would be business madness to let an 80 million 100 pound million asset leave 12 minutes later for nothing so that will not happen that can't happen right or or you turn him, tie him down to a new contract yeah that, well that's the option you've got to stay. Option. why would he want to stay so I don't understand I know he loves Spurs that's and the only reason he'll he's, stay. he's broke the record there already for the goals of Spurs but if you're Harry Kane you're going away with England I said it before yeah. and you've got players that won a Champions League why are you having banter about it or what have you won you know and Harry Kane be thinking like I'm probably the best player here or why am I not winning trophies Manchester United or do you want a trophy this season? You know, and that's what he wants to do. And he's at a club where they rest him for a game in the, in the FA Cup alley. They've taken Sheffield United lightly and they've been turned over. They still put their best team out and brought of players off have. against Sheffield United. Get that trophy. And then it's like, oh, all right, then we got it. We can't be like, you know, joked <clears> about because <throat> we haven't won a trophy in so long. But Harry Kane's on a new deal. It just doesn't make sense to me. It was the most realistic opportunity of a trophy, that FA Cup. No doubt about it. So you've got to play your strongest side. Harry I don't know what you think, Gab. <clears throat> I, I, I said yesterday more or less the same things as you, as you said regarding Harry Kane. But I think I, also one of the biggest things that will influence him, I think, uh, the only reason he stays with Spurs is if he loves the club that much. But one of the biggest things I think that will influence him was the fact he's already beat the great Jimmy Greaves' record. That would have meant a lot to him. There is no doubt about that. That would have meant a lot to him. But he can still... He could beat Alan Shearer's record by staying at Spurs, but he could beat Alan Shearer's record by going to um, Manchester United. And if you're asking anybody, <laughs> any sensible football fan right now, yeah. who has got a better chance of winning a trophy? As I said yesterday, it's a team that could beat 7 nothing at the weekend. And Laura, Ali, I feel like he would have looked at it and thought, we've got Mourinho in. You know what I mean? You didn't even give me a chance to get to the final. You sacked him. And then you yeah. brought in Conte. Doesn't look like it's happening there. Like he was thinking, Harry Kane. Like is this my last chance at this big move? Well, it is. So I have to take it. It is, Gabby. It's a, it's a no brainer for me. You stay in the Premier League. You beat Alan Shearer's record for five, six more seasons in the Premier League, however long it takes, and you're going to win trophies in Manchester United. Manchester United on the up. They're a Harry Kane away from fighting for the title for me next season. So it's a no brainer on both parties. And Daniel Levy gets his money. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.